Welcome to our STM32 C0 MOOC. This is Nicholas, and with my colleague Arthur, we will present you this MOOC. This is a quick introduction about what you will need to complete the labs in this MOOC. We will discuss the software and hardware prerequisite for this STM32 C0 MOOC. From the landing page of this STM32 C0 MOOC on YouTube, you will find a link to a document in PDF format called STM32 C0 Workshop Installation Guide, version 2, both PDF or version 3, you know, depends. We might have some new versions, you know, available, but this time it's version 2. So we will discuss in this document the prerequisites, so what kind of a host machine you will need, what kind of operating systems, and then we will go through the installation procedure to install STM32 Cube ID and also the library. So STM32 Cube Firmware C0 library. So make sure you are meeting all the prerequisite criteria as explained in the document. And also make sure that you have installed the tools as described in the document. So it's important to have the proper versions, you know, at least the minimum versions of uh, Cube ID and the software library to be able to perform this MOOC. So this is, you know, the landing page. And here in the description you know, of the MOOC, you will find a link to a document, so on Google Drive. And this document is the following. So it will discuss the different, you know, requirements that you will get in terms of a system, you know, like a operating system, a machine, what type of machine you need. Um, and then, you know, we will discuss the installation procedure. So, for example, the need for STM32 Cube ID, at least a version 1.10.1, Cube Programmer, so at least a version 2.10.0, and then the Cube Library, so the STM32 Cube C0 Library, so at least a version 1.0.0. In terms of hardware, here is what you need. First, a nuclear board C0 31C6. So this is the one right there, so with the ST-Link, and the microcontroller, the stm 2 c 0 that is right here. Then you will need a micro USB cable. So this is to connect your ST-Link, so your board, to your host machine. And then, optionally, you can use like a single uh, jumper. So this could be useful for one of the lab, one of the exercises that we'll do with ADC. Enjoy this MOOC, and I hope you will learn a lot about STM32C0 and also our STM32 ecosystem.